Why? Because each polynomial is uniquely determined by, of uh, degree 9, by 10 values. Out of 12 values, at most one is wrong. So at least 11, uh, when you uh, take out a point, test if the rest of 11 polynomials lie on the same polynomial. 10 of them can be used to produce the polynomial, and then you test the 11th value if it belongs. Once you find the fit, the ones that you took out is the wrong one. Now, the problem with this is, just like when we did multiplication last year, if you use reals or integers, right, you cannot use really reals, but if you use integers, this goes out of size. So instead of doing it with integers, you do it over something called Galois field, which you can think for all practical purposes. Just think of ZP, of uh, 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 remainders modulo a prime number P. Then everything works like a child. And what happened? Still, if you can, for example, allow 28 errors, you would have to test <coughs> for uh, uh, sets of uh, uh, 28 subsets that you rule out and test the rest whether they belong to the same curve. Huge job. Until uh, Berlekamp, was it? Yeah, Berlekamp and uh, what is the other guy? Welsh found a lightning fast, brilliant algorithm to do it and they patented it. <laughs> And then I was at that time student at Berkeley. Suddenly we start getting strange emails uh, that says uh, that some people are trying to patent mathematics. Uh, so in order to write a paper, if you cite their work, you will have to pay royalty to people who wrote the paper, which was all, of course, ballooning. What was behind it? It was a campaign by telecommunication agencies to nil the patent for error correction uh, decoding uh, because, you know, it just dramatically increases throughput, but they didn't want to pay royalty to these uh, uh, two guys. Of course, they did not patent mathematics. They patent a procedure for telecommunication, reliable telecommunication transmission, right? And of course, no one had ever ideas uh, uh, to, you know, to charge royalty for citing scientific paper, but uh, lo and behold, scare campaigns, uh, uh, well, in this case, it didn't work, and the uh, U.S. judge upheld uh, the patent, and uh, uh, you could finally see him at work without the patent. the rich man. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, Next time, and the idea is again astonishingly simple. So next time we will see that, and then I'll start teaching you a very geometric uh, introduction to signal processing that actually has even less math than this. But uh, this is another example how a little bit of math, just also like with error correction goes, a little bit of math can make billions, and that's a recurring theme nowadays. Uh, so don't be mad at words. Uh, learn to conquer your fears and love uh, uh, math. Uh,